before I take the note that I built up and transition it. Uh, while I could have, I was enjoying the note that I landed on and I was just doing that one for a minute. But it's always good to build up on the back ones that the note that comes required and prior to the next note when you're like stacking tiers together, you need to build up on that first because this is generally like the vocal, where the vocal cord is coming from and the corridors within your mouth. So you have your vocal corridor, you know, you have your throat, which is also a corridor. Then you have all these different gaps. And believe it or not, your lips have a lot to do with like the frequency and stuff. Um, the amount of like density, I've noticed that when I start playing, the reason why it does sound different is because when I'm going to sit, if I do that for a while, all the blood comes out of my lips. Like for the most part, like they'll get paler. Um, which means when I do certain notes like that, it is getting it high enough to knock out enough of this, you know, and it has bizarre effects. Um, it's a very complicated instrument given there's ways to play it not complicatedly and that's how I would suggest. But if you're like me and you just absolutely love like sound effects, and just dope sounds to be able to like really mix with like this is a cool instrument there i really want to show people how to do a good like a large portion of this so i can see what else is out there after because it's like i can't find anyone that can do this i mean i given if if a lot more people play the didgeridoo a lot more people would be able to do this um so it's a matter of getting that out there i gotta I figured, so when I start uh, doing some cross traffic, some cross trafficking for um, like advertising space and everything, one thing that I need to find a way, I don't know exactly how to do this, but I need to inseminate the didgeridoo as other instruments. So somebody's looking for an instrument to play, I want to make sure if they're looking for something new, they can also find me through the didgeridoo. Um, given when somebody looks up another like maybe a trombone maybe they or the flute or something you know like things that are common enough but I'm not exactly sure how to go about that that way I mean that's a gamble though the thing is somebody can do that so that's kind of where it's like I just need to now I see another reason to become like a music teacher basically well, I gotta go for music theory first and I don't even know if it's called a music teacher or whatever. Um, I just want to teach the didgeridoo, y'all, but it's not. I can't. There's just, there's just not direct a flow of traffic. I I am forced to advertise, and I think is that's what I'm going to do, like possibly here soon. But to set it up, I really wanted to be somewhere like a little more situatable. I need some extra stability behind it, so that way. Um, it's not like teaching when it's draining me, teaching, you know, uh, so right now it's like I don't have a source of income. I, I didn't get my new place yet because of crazy stuff in the riots. Um, figures to even get started and it messed up. But why did I decide to move then? I don't know. Um, stuck here longer. I really don't want it. The thing is, I just don't want to be here anymore hurting my relationship with my parents um, it would be and it would it, what's well, not really hurt I mean not like hurting but it's like hindering the growth um, and it sucks that and this shit keeps I was supposed to be out of like a, uh, I knew I'd get stuck here again I should have taken the offer and just left to Greece from California 
that's even thinking back what I did in the past two years, three years ago, I had an offer. I should have done that. Because now I'm stuck if I want to do that. And now the thing is with ATS, it's like, I was doing this so I could basically, um, I can't go any. Now it's going to be easier to find something else to acquire rather than go for ATS. So, I'm trying to figure out. So those of you who don't know, I said in the last video, if y'all did follow through, ATS, it's called Applicant Tracking System. If you've ever gone like a regular adult, made an application and went in, you know, maybe you made a good application. If somebody sees it in their hands, that's what always works for me. Every time I get a job, I have to get into their hands and I have never really gotten one. The only way I was able to do that was I found a loophole and I did, I use absolutely nothing related to keywords to get um, like a job interview with Overstock, um, freaking, I don't know, and like, I don't know, like nine other massive um, freaking companies. But anyways, ATS is the method. And, and that, the thing is, that was more of an ordeal and it caused a lot of problems I didn't want when I did it like that, um, when I did it the other way. Let's just say it was very unorthodox. It got me into some startups that are successful now that I wasn't able to, I needed something that was paying me. What can I fucking say? Like I had no money, I needed income. If I had stayed with that startup, I probably would have a lot of money in my pocket right now. Yet again, that was another opportunity that I wasn't sta in a stable enough, like, you know, cause it just happens. You get drained and stuff with whatever's going on, especially when you move and coding. That's like the first thing they say, guys. When you, if you're going to think about coding or anything, they're like you're moving and or whatever, you need to have stability. Um, I was like, wow, you could have told me that right before I came here. You could have not screwed me over um, like five ways to fucking hell. work normally I don't have to I, I don't have to shake it like that to get very close to like in the bracket of the sound that I'm, I'm going for because they're all just a little bit diverse I don't have to shake my arm like that and generally doing that a lot it just it's just very it's not good um, you just put it like that especially because I'll have my arm like this for a while and then it gets a little bit like cramped up and I start doing that I'm um, not I don't think that's good for my body at all um, yeah, my body's already pretty screwed, so it doesn't really matter. Um, knock on wood. 
Uh, so, basically, I keep thinking people are coming into the, to, to the room, but it's, it's, it's just a recording, so <laughs> I'm going crazy. Now I know, I thought I was seeing stuff, uh, still. It's just something on my eyes, seems like it. But um, anyway, so one of the things, one of the biggest things, I'm gonna take this content and like, I was gonna just do um, like clip the content, but I'm just gonna redo. Once once I get tons of this content out there, I'm like, okay, I think I got this in there, this, that, 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 all this stuff I can think of. I'm gonna take all this content, have it all down for me to like re, obtain it for myself almost like um like he does in the butterfly effect right and um like get you know be able to see the notes and then be able to pull back to where i was that is how it's going to work out the most um I believe so that's what I'm doing instead of copying and snipping it and going through it like that I'm just gonna write it down this is what's going on create be able to get the good picture down on it. next one get the good picture down and then take all these different ways of me saying it and put it into like a final like polished version of this documentary because there's gonna be a lot of rambling and time in between and stuff and I'm gonna go off on my rambles I'm gonna do everything like that uh, because that's entertainment and that's part of what I'm documenting <laughs> Um, for myself as well, but um, y'all get to see a little bit more. But uh, yeah, so and that I don't know that could be a few years. I might do that after like a year. I might just compile it after a year. Probably be more than enough, at least to go off with a good portion. Uh, I need to find a way of explaining stuff and getting it down to. The thing is, like, sure if I have a mic set up, I can be showing stuff. It's so much easier in hands because. When somebody's holding their stance wrong, when they're playing wrong, I can adjust it. They, I can get them to do this note or, or a certain note and hold, hold the didgeridoo in the right spot for them and watch as they start to move, I move it with them. So that way they catch it. So they see um, how it's actually working. Again, that one fills out a lot more too on the other denser didgeridoo I had but with this one I have to I have to get back used to playing it again and it's already helpful towards playing that one as well I've noticed um, I should do like a stack I haven't actually attempted it with two different variants like that I only ever did it with one that scales up I think I did and it doesn't really have a it has a weird effect it's not right um, I don't think I've ever like forced myself into doing it that sometimes will happen with the larger didgeridoo, but as I adapt it, so maybe that's what I need to do. Um, we can find that out at some point, but right now I'm just working on this note. And my, my lips are going numb, and it's like, this is a larger didgeridoo, and I don't have near as much. Normally I can just like, when it, when it starts to do this, I need a certain amount of density in there. I just kind of push in the next layer of, of my lips and everything, I guess. Like, it's just, I'm just scrunching it up just a little bit, just like... Imagine, cause like this is how, ah, how big my mouth is, right? Ah, ah, uh. But my my lips going, my tongue closes up. It's not completely flat inside of that area, opening up just a little bit. I have these two corridors right here that kind of catch a little bit of wind and build up a little bit of a pocket. It's almost like if I'm there's a bubble, right? And um, it's floating somewhere and it's, it's getting like you see it getting bigger and bigger and you're like how is this bubble getting bigger you see the water kind of pushing just a little bit and it's just like adding to it so the bubbles expanding but because it's coming from a different direction it's not like popping it um, it's you know what I mean it's just getting it right it's just holding its own and growing that's what you want to do because once it gets like, what if you look very carefully, I've only done this once, I would love to record what I'm talking about right now because this is a very good example and it's weird. I don't 
but so basically um, it catches almost like at an angle or something something's kind of bent allowing it to kind of just get into into the bubble like it's like a little bit of a cross stream or whatever um, but because the water is hitting and like coming back and being hit by this one now it bounces back within its own corridor so you want to get that going and then you can get it you can get it like multiples of those going if you really really you can do that do multiples of those inside your entire mouth and have it all be one as well that's like my all-time favorite but that takes literally the last time I did that took me an eight-hour session um, so that was a long time ago I was able to really do an eight-hour session um, I will definitely get that get that one down uh, and be able to move it the thing is it takes it doesn't matter how many times I do it I know exactly how to do it it just takes a very long period of time uh, because I have to go through I have to do this pocket I have to activate this pocket um, right and then this one this one that one that one that one that one and each one and it needs to be really strong when you start adding that many in I only really did this by accident when I just sat there playing for a very long period of time and now I've started to really reflect back on it and get more pieces of the puzzle I'm able to go and see Oh, this is this is why this is happening um, so it's because I, I was playing different notes and as this part goes now I might play the next one that part goes now the next one and that's how you how y'all hear me playing constantly and a lot of the sounds that I do I can't I do two different types of circular breathing I don't do um, the inhale like that because most of the sound effects that I do I need my vocals coming out while I can do a weird voice while inhaling um, or something like that and a voice impersonation not like that so um, it, not while the air is going the opposite way uh, literally I have to keep that flow and I've tried it going inwards and it doesn't work I cannot hold the balance um, it just doesn't it doesn't it doesn't have its um, its compaction it's not it's not compacted it's you know like we we're talking about um, like imagine if a black hole was getting really full, right? The black hole is the didgeridoo in the example. Black hole starts to get full, this is your sound, it starts building up, then you release it and more will come out at once, right? Just like anything. Um, given it does do a nice spiral uh, sound of a what probably sounds like a black hole. If we could actually be able to get up in space and there's like no sound in space, I don't think um, we actually got got the space down and um, we're able to hear a black hole and, and how it hums then it would be a lot like a didgeridoo and that would be the sound that I'm doing um, and I don't actually there's no way for me to prove that but I believe it um. <laughs> This one is going like flat. I'm not getting a, a good hum to it now. Um, I've really got to go and get my other one. So y'all come with me. Come with me if you want to listen. Play the do more. You know, actually, I could have just left you there, but look at it. Room for a minute. See, though, not live streaming. It's still odd, I guess. Given this isn't good enough content for most people, I believe. Where's my other did do? Um, my fancy tool over there for a game I play that helps me um, generate revenue. Uh, crash. I'm probably going to end this and fix that a little bit. Where it's fine. I think they fucking or they know how to operate it now. They just do a time regulation, which means this account's probably on their watch list. Um, oh, my other degree. That's right. Everything is packed up. I'm forgetting this.
freaking out just coming down. You are gonna need a pack of these videos. Since it sounds like you need power, damn it, no. Don't tell me that. Oh, so much shit happened. So much bullshit. Just epic proportional amounts. Shit going on around. I would really like to I feel like if people weren't in such a bad situation with how our government handled everything, the riots would not be as bad. There wouldn't. I don't feel like somebody 